This is part 25 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to check if an element has a specific CSS class, how to add or remove CSS classes, and how to toggle CSS classes. So let's understand all these jQuery class methods with an example. So we want to design a page that looks like this. We want to include a paragraph element with this text, Prejim Technologies, and we want to have these six buttons. So the idea is to have three CSS classes, color class, italics class and bold class. When applied, the color class should change the font color to red, italics class should change the font style to italics, and bold class should change the font weight to bold. So when we click this button add color class, it should apply the color class to this paragraph element. Similarly, when we click the second button, it should add both the classes, color and italics to the paragraph element. And when we click the last button, we want to apply all the three classes to the paragraph element. So when we click these remove buttons, for example, when we click remove all classes button, we want to remove all the classes from the paragraph element. When we click the second button, it should remove color and italics classes. The first button should remove just the color class. So let's see how to achieve this. So the first step here is to design a page that looks like this. In the interest of time, I have already implemented the required HTML. So within the head section, we have got a section for style. And within the style section, we've got three classes, bold class, italics class, and color class. And this bold class changes the font weight to bold. Italics class changes the font style to italic. And color class changes the color to red. And within our body section, We've got the paragraph element with the text regime technologies, and we also have an HTML table. So at the moment, this is how the page looks like. So we have the paragraph element with the text and the six buttons, and these six buttons are present in an HTML table. So the table is having three table rows. So when I expand this table element, notice that we have got three table rows. And within the first table row, we've got two TDs. And within each TD, we've got a button. So in three table rows, we've got six buttons. And if you look at the HTML of the button, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it has got an ID attribute, um, style, where we have set the width of the button to 250 pixels, type equals button, and value equals add color class. So the only attributes that change you know, for these buttons are ID and the value attributes. You know, style and type are the same. Okay, so I'll have all this HTML available on my blog in case you need it. So at the moment, when we click these buttons, nothing happens. Okay, so we need to associate click event handlers to these buttons, and then depending on the button we have clicked, we want to either add a class or remove class. All right, so let's launch developer tools and look at the HTML that we have in the DOM at the moment. So we have the paragraph element without any CSS class at the moment. All right, so let's go to Visual Studio. So within our script section, we have the ready function wired up. So the first thing that we want to do is find the element by ID. We want to find the button element, and button elements have got an ID. We want to find this button one. When we click that button one, we want to add color class. And ID selector in jQuery is pound, and the ID that we want to find is PTN1. And to that, we want to associate a click event handler. When click event occurs, we want to execute a function. So what do we want to do when click event occurs? We want to add color class to the paragraph element. So we want to find this paragraph element. Now at the moment, the paragraph element does not have an ID. So let's use the element selector. So find the paragraph element. And to that, we want to add a CSS class. So I'm going to use add class method. And to that method, we need to specify the name of the CSS class that we want. So what class do we want to add? We want to add color class. So let's copy the name and pass it to this add class method. So this should add the color class to the paragraph element. Similarly, when we click the second button, we want to remove the color class. And to remove a class, we use remove class CSS function. So find the element by ID, in this case, button 2. And when we click that, we want to remove the class. OK, so this method is going to remove color class from the paragraph element. So let's make two more copies of this code. 
So now let's first change the IDs of the buttons. So this is going to be button 3, button 4, button 5, and button 6. So let's save that. Now when we click button 3, what should happen? So button 3 is present in the second tier. When we click button 3, we want to add color and italics classes. Notice we want to add two classes. So this add class method is going to add just the color class. But in addition to that, we also want to add italics class. So let's copy that name. So when you want to add two or more classes, you simply pass them to the add class method with a space in between. So this is going to add both the classes to the paragraph element. And when we click button 4, we want to remove those two classes. And the idea is, again, you specify the class names with a space in between them. So this remove class method is going to remove both the classes from the paragraph element. So when we click button 5, we want to add all the three classes, color, italics, and bold. So first of all, let's go ahead and copy this code. So at the moment, this will add two classes, but I also want to add bold class. So let's copy that and pass it to this. So this method is now going to add all the three classes to the paragraph element. And when we click the last button, we want to remove all the three classes. So if you want to remove all the three classes, you can do this. So pass all the three class names with a space between them. That's going to remove all these three classes. Or you can also do this. Don't specify any class name. So this is going to remove all the classes that this paragraph element has, not just those three. If it has another class, maybe you know something like underline class, it's going to remove that as well. So let's save the changes and let's reload this page. So now when we click this button, add color, italics, and bold classes, it should add all the three classes. And look at the paragraph element in the DOM at the moment. It does not have any class applied. So let's click this button and see what's going to happen. Look at that. First of all, the paragraph element color is changed. It's italicized and it's bolded as well. And if you look at the paragraph element, it has got the class attribute. And all the three CSS classes are applied, color class, italics class, and bold class. Now what's going to happen when we click this button, remove color class, it should remove the color class. Look at that, the color class is removed, but italics class and bold class are still present. Now when I click remove all classes button, it should remove all the classes. Look at that. And similarly, when I say add color and italics class, it should add color class and italics class. And when we say remove color and italics, it should remove both the classes. And when we click Add Color Class, it should add just the color class. And when we remove color class, it should remove the color class. OK, so we have seen Add Class and Remove Class. So basically, the purpose of Add Class is to add one or more specified classes. And if we want to add multiple classes, simply separate them with a space between. And if you want to remove classes, use Remove Class. This method is going to remove one or multiple classes or all classes. To remove multiple classes, separate them with a space. If you want to remove all the classes, then don't specify any class name. What is this has class method? This method is going to check if a given element has a specific class. If the given element has that specified class, then this method is going to return true, otherwise false. Then what is this toggle class? Let's understand this function with an example. So let's actually include another HTML button. So to this HTML, let's add another TR. And let's include two more TDs. And within the first TD, let's include another button. And let's change the button ID to BTN7. And let's change the text on this to toggle classes. So the ID of the button is button 7. So what is this toggle class method going to do? This method basically you know, is going to toggle the classes in the sense that if the element has the specified classes already, it's going to remove those classes. If the element does not have the classes, then it's going to add them. So basically, the idea is if the class is present, it will remove it. If it's not present, it will add it. So that's what toggle class method does. So let's look at that in action. 
So when we click this button, we want to toggle all the three classes, color class, bold class, and italics class. So within our ready function, let's find, let's actually copy this. So let's find a button by ID. So we want to find button seven, and when we click that, we want to use toggle class. And look at what we are passing. We are passing all the three class names uh, to this function. So what is this function going to do? If these three classes are not present on the paragraph element, then this method is going to add those three classes. If they are already present, then it's going to remove those three classes. So let's look at that in action. Let's save the changes, reload this page. So we have this toggle class button. Look at the paragraph element. At the moment, it does not have any of the CSS classes. So since it doesn't have any classes, when I click this toggle classes button, it's going to add all those three classes. Look at that. It added all the three classes. And look at the style of the paragraph element here. Now when I click this button again, since all the three classes are present already, it's going to remove those classes. So that's what the toggle class method does. Now let's uh, look at another example. So basically, uh, in, a, in any data entry form, you know, you would have already seen this kind of a behavior. When the text box receives focus, you know, the background color of the text box changes to something. Maybe in our example here, it's changing to green and the font color is white. Okay, so at the moment, the focus is on first name text box. So the background color is changed and the font color is changed. When the text box loses focus, we want to remove that class and if last name receives text uh, focus we want to change you know basically apply that class to that text box so let's see how to achieve this so the first thing here is to write the required HTML um, you know to get that design and in the interest of time I have already done that here is that HTML again I'll have all this HTML available on my blog in case you need it and this HTML is again pretty straightforward so within our body section let's include this HTML table and let's get rid of the script that we have within the script section. So I'm going to remove everything and leave just the ready function there. And we don't require all these style classes, so let's remove them as well. And let's actually create another style class. Let's call this text box style. And what is this style class going to do? It's going to change the background color of the text box to green and font color to white. Okay, so again a simple CSS style class. And within our ready function, so what do we want to do? We want to, you know, associate basically focus and blur events to all the text boxes on this page. Okay, so basically we want to find all text boxes. And to find all text boxes, I'm going to use this jQuery selector. So give me all input elements where the type attribute is equal to text. Okay, so this is going to give us all the text box elements. So now we want to loop through each text box element and as we are looping through, we want to execute some code. Now what we want to do is associate focus and blur events to each of the text box control that we are iterating over. And to refer to the element that we are currently iterating over, we use the this keyword. So dollar this refers to the element that we are iterating over. And we want to associate focus event handler. And when focus event occurs, we want to execute a function and what do we want to do when the text box receives focus? We want to apply this CSS class. So I'm going to say dollar this dot add class and the name of the class that we want to add is text box style. And you know, as we are iterating over the elements, not only we want to add focus event handler, we also want to add blur event handler. On blur, what we want to do, we want to remove the class. 
and to remove the class we are going to use remove class function so pretty straightforward code there so let's save the changes reload this page so we should get the text boxes and the drop down list now look at this as soon as the first name text box receives focus look at that you know the background color is changed to green font color is white as soon as the text box loses focus look at that we remove the CSS class and that happens only for the text box controls and not for the drop down list because in our code we are saying we want to change only um, or apply this class or remove that class only from the elements of type text okay so this is how we can use add and remove classes thank you for listening and have a great day